How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. All the information we need to know about Update 4, or Series 4, has now been released. In this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about that update that we're getting next week, all of the new cars, the World Cup feature, a bunch of all features, tons of new horns, just all sorts to talk about. I'm going to tell you everything in this video. If you're new here and you enjoy this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out loads. We do stuff like this all the time. Let's get into it. We usually find out all of the information about each series on the monthly live streams that Playground Games do. We've not got to that live stream yet. However, the Chinese version of the Forza Motorsport sort of forum has released the information about the update early. That's because there's a little bit of a Chinese theme within this update. A bunch of Chinese cars have been added from Chinese car manufacturers. Now I might do a video after the live stream next week because we might get even more information that's not in this forum. However, for the time being, we've pretty much got everything we need to know about Update 4. On screen you can see that the article is basically all in Chinese, however, I've managed to translate all of it, including the images. Let's have a look at what we have. So we're going to start with the new cars. There's eight in total. Four of them are in the Car Pass for Car Pass owners, and the other four are in the Festival Playlist for all players. For the first week of Season 4, which starts next week, we can get the 2016 Neo EP9. I think it's pronounced like that. That is for 45 points on the Festival Playlist from February the 3rd to February the 9th. Week 2, which is February the 10th to February 16th, for 45 points we can get the 2016 Wuling Hongguang S. This is a car that we have spoken about on this channel before because we found it in the leaked car list or the leaked files. We spoke about it a couple weeks ago and now it's getting added to the game, which is great to see. Now in week three, for 45 points, we can get the third new car, the 2012 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And the final week, which is week four, which starts on the 24th of February, for 45 points, you can get the fourth new car, the 2015 MG MG3. Now onto the four new car pass cars. What do we have? Well, week one, which again starts on February the 3rd, we will have access to the 2019 Volkswagen Golf R. This is probably the Golf R that we found in the files once again we spoke about. It is coming to the game. Now the second car pass car, which comes on the February the 10th, we can get the 2005 MG X Power SVR. The third week for the car pass, which is February the 17th, we can get the Mazda 323 GTR. This is another car which we have spoke about on the sort of the leaked cars and it's coming in season four. And the fourth car pass car on February the 24th, we can get the 2010 Porsche 911 Sport Classic. That is the eighth new car coming for season four. There's plenty more new stuff coming within this update. We're gonna talk about it next. But let's now talk about the Horizon World Cup. Now we spoke about the World Cup a few weeks ago about what this Horizon World Cup update could possibly be. We had our guesses, we had our sort of, you know, our theories. Well, we now know exactly how it's going to work. Let me explain. Now I'm going to read exactly what the article says. It has been translated from Chinese, so it's a little bit confusing, but I'm going to make it more easy for you to understand afterwards. It reads, the Horizon World Cup. You can represent your favourite country or region by driving vehicles from different national or regional car manufacturers bit weird, and participate in weekly challenges, seasonal championships and playground races in Season 4. Players will be able to earn points for the country or region of their chosen automaker after completing the weekly season event. To ensure a level playing field between countries, we have set relevant car restrictions for each activity. It does say in the article that there are going to be six countries competing in this World Cup. France, Germany, Italy, Japan, UK and the US. Now what I think this means is we're going we're to have a festival playlist as usual and what I believe is going to happen is we are going to be able to do all of the festival playlist challenges in whatever car we want. A French car, a German one, an Italian one, any of the ones that are in this World Cup. Let's say I choose a car from the UK, let's say I choose a McLaren and I do the festival playlist challenges. I will then gain points for the UK within this Horizon World Cup. Whatever car you use from whatever country it's from, that is the country that you will get points for doing the festival playlist challenges. It does say that they have set relevant car restrictions, so we can't just go and get in the fastest car in the game, which happens to be 
um, what is it, oh, it's Swedish, I suppose, but certain countries will have overpowered cars and it seems like they've set restrictions so it's, so it's all sort of level. I suppose we'll find out what the rewards are going to be for the winning country and how it exactly works, but those are the basics of it. If you want Japan to win, if you want to win for Japan, get in a Japanese car and do the festival playlist challenges and the events that it's going to give us in a Japanese car and it will give us points. That is what I believe is going to happen. There's a bit more to that as well. I'm going to read it out now. It says, as we all know, a game without a good opening and closing ceremony is not a true global sporting event. Fortunately, our team has been busy preparing for these two not to be missed events. The Horizon World Cup kicks off with Fort 2005's first exhibition event, where players will race in a 2018 Can-AM Maverick X RS Turbo R against a fleet of monster trucks and experience a buggy, violent collision with the beast. Again, this is translated so it's a bit fiddly. So this is some kind of exhibition event, sounds like it could be some kind of special showcase remix where we can race against monster trucks in a buggy. Sort of like a celebratory opening event for this World Cup, which again is going to start in the rainy season of summer, which I think is the first week. Whether this is going to be just an event in the festival playlist that we can play when we want, like the Showcase Remix, or if it's going to be some kind of a Fortnite-style one-time event, which we all have to be online for. Not 100% sure, we'll see how that works. But then obviously there is a closing event as well. It says here, the festivities will wrap up with the on the Wings and Players exhibition race held during the hot season of spring, in, in which players will compete with a team of motocross riders in a part horizon themed race. Translation's a bit weird there. Race to the paint cargo plane, whatever their tricks, one thing's for sure, you'll be driving the 2017 Vul 05 RR made in Mexico under the beautiful night sky. So that tells us that there's going to be another exhibition event at the end of the season on the fourth week where we it seems like it's on the wings and prayers which is a showcase event so again we can't be 100 percent on this because we've not heard anything official just from the chinese sort of forza website it is sounding like we're going to have a showcase remix exhibition event on the first week for the opening ceremony and a showcase remix event on the last week to sort of close it all off Again, not sure what the rewards are going to be for this or what kind of cars we can use, if it's all of the Japanese cars, don't know which ones are restricted. There's still stuff we don't know, but this is the general basis of it. We will find out what the rewards are and how long it goes on for and where the sort of leaderboards are. Is there going to be a leaderboard for the countries? We're going to want to know which one's in the lead, I suppose. So we'll wait and see. Now there's a new feature which is long awaited and it is the event lab saving feature. Again this is translated but this is what it says. It says with the addition of the long awaited event lab blueprint save and edit option in season four you'll no longer have to do it all at once. Now you can revisit any activity you created earlier to finish it off. So we can now save our event lab sort of blueprints, go back and finish them off whenever we please. A few other things have added as well, Forza Horizon 5 has had Mandarin dubbing added and obviously Chinese cars added, again those are the cars we've already spoken about. Now in the Chinese sort of article there were also images of the rewards for some of the little rewards from the festival playlist such as the new horns and the new suits. These are the rewards that we were told. It's all in Chinese, but I managed to translate it from an image. The column on the left tells us all of the new race suits that we are getting. We are basically getting a new sort of race suit or jersey for each country that I mentioned earlier. So there'll be one for France, Germany, Japan, Italy, UK and the US. Now on the right hand column is a bunch of new horns that we are getting. Now again, I can translate these for you. All of the horns are the following. There is an applause horn, a rewind horn, a broken horn, I don't know what broken means, some kind of broken noise, maybe a glass smashing, I don't know. Um, a 3, 2, 1 countdown horn, again we'll have to hear that to know what exactly what it's like. And then it says at the bottom there is a halo theme part 2. So that's going to be a cool horn, there's a halo theme horn in the game already, it seems like we're getting a part 2 of that which is very cool to hear. That is currently everything that's in the Chinese article, now there probably is more however we won't find out about that until we get a, a, an English article exactly what's coming so we can understand it properly and once again we probably have the monthly live stream at some point as well next week I presume. There might be the odd thing which we've missed that's actually coming to the game that we will see in that live stream. So I might do a video after that, but for the time being, that's everything you need to know. Eight new cars, a bunch of new horns, a bunch of new jerseys, Horizon World Cup competition, two showcase remix events, a event lab saving feature, 
and there you have it. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.